Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Bootsy and Yoshi's Woolly World. Oh god, that's how I sound when I talk to animals. Last time, we defeated Monty the Big Montgomery the Monty Moles Forts. Uh, his actual name may vary. Um, sorry, him and I just kind of go way back. Eh, awkwardness two for two. And this time, we are in the 3DS version of this game, as hence the title. Three for three. Oh, uh, so what are we doing here today in the 3DS version in particular? Why here? What is actually changed that would make it so that we would want to be playing this version? Well, after beating Big Montgomery's Fort, I'll say it right at least once here, right next to Yoshi Hut, you unlock access to Poochie Hut. These are stages unlocked at the middle of each world, only exclusive to the 3DS version of the game. This is why I was saying it was a little bit awkward how there's not really one definitive version of Yoshi's Woolly World. You gotta pick better graphics or more content, and that's why I'm presenting it the way that I am. We're gonna do this here today as if there was a definitive version that included all of the levels inside of one nice cohesive order. Into the first stage, Poochie is somebody that I had a lot of disdain for as a kid, understandably so, but as I grew older, I began to understand that he's my kind of guy. He's impatient. He runs through every stage. Can't stop him. Won't stop for anything. He is invincible when it comes to any sort of enemy encounter. And he's got his own collectibles, the Poochie Pups. The goal is just to get the Poochie Pups and as many of these beads as possible. They are excellent stages for grinding up. Poochie can duck and slide underneath things, as I just did. Uh, no. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Gonna have to redo this stage already. Uh, that's the thing. It's all about getting that one perfect run where everything goes the way that it should. And having to play it over and over again for that one little bit. Aw, his little panty. So cute. Got a gold rank for that. On the bottom screen are normally three objectives, but there's also a hidden fourth objective. In this case, it is getting through the stage in a certain amount of time. Even though Poochie is an auto runner, you saw him kerplunk right off of that tree stump in our first run. It is possible to not make the time limit. Uh! Got it, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now just to do a completely perfect run of the stage. Here's my third balloon, and time! But I didn't get 1,500 beads. Or did I? Yes, I did! Perfect run, diamond rank. Uh, I love him panting when he's tired of running around. It's very, very swell. Aaron Poochie is very cute. This is only the first of many changes exclusive to po Poochie and Yoshi's Willy World. <laughs> Poochie and Yoshi's Willy World. Since there was no time like the present to start going into this version, I say we see some of the other differences as well. For one, the world map is a 2D side-scroller. I guess the 3DS couldn't handle three dimensions of depth. It's okay, I understand. We're gonna switch over to mellow mode. I did promise we would only do mellow mode in the first stage, and I'm sticking to that promise, okay? Because I'm not as big of a fan of Mellow Mode in the Poochie version. Those are Poochie Pups following me around, and you know what they do? They attack enemies, they point out collectibles to you, they're like the overpowered Tails Tweety Birdies flying around him in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but all the time, and without having to earn a darn thing. Like, that was the first enemy that I ate. I don't even have any eggs right now because they've been making such quick work of ever- oh. I don't get eggs in this mellow mode. Do no, I just throw them and they're... Oh, that's even worse than I thought it was already. What? So you just have three eggs all the time. They never run out and you can just go, 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 go. I also swear that eating the ground is faster in this version. Yeah, it just... Yoshi just projectile pooped it away. He didn't keep it. Wow, all right, so that's even worse than I thought, actually. I knew they pointed out collectibles. I didn't remember that little tidbit that they replace your eggs. Granted, I haven't exactly played around in mellow mode a whole lot in this version just because I immediately had such a dislike for it that I can't really say that I can be blamed too much for it, but 
That is a major difference, and it is excluded from my statement that I don't like that. I also don't get why they keep the egg baskets in the stage if they're useless. Why would you do that? Is he gonna... Oh no, he's not gonna eat the bow in the present. He's just barking at me saying like, hey, hey, I think you should pick this up. I really do think you should pick this up. It's really important. The next difference comes at the end of a stage. We wanna get one of those smiley flower. Well, that would have been a smiley flower if I actually got 100%. Whose fault is that, little poochie pups? Eh, I can't blame them. It just makes me look even worse that I didn't get 100% when they were pointing out all the collectibles to me because I wanted to rush through. Hit it! <clears throat> Thank you. Yes! All I had to do was just run continuously and then jump. Oh wow, I'm about to embarrass myself a lot today. The reason why I took far too long to do that is to show that bonus stages do not exist in this version. Instead, Poochie Dash Gold Rush is what happens. Yes, it happens. Or doesn't. Upon finishing the stage, nothing. Every time you get a flower at the end of a stage, you have to go back to Poochie's hut, all the way back in the main hub, and select this golden cloud icon to unlock gold rush mode. You get one play on any stage you have already unlocked, and that's your bonus stage. It's pretty awful and with how beads are already plentiful and I don't need more of them, I found myself getting bored with this feature and just choosing not to go back after the first couple of times that I'd done it, because... I don't know. I mean, it's notable for the fact that this is Golden Lakitu's only appearance after New Super Mario Bros. 2, which is something, I guess, which means that game actually did have a meaningful impact on the franchise and, well, technically not on its franchise, but on another franchise. If you want to count the Yoshi games as separate, which I kind of do. Pretty much like it, you just shows you an optimal course through the level. Might show you hidden pathways that you weren't aware of prior. And, yeah, you just kind of rush through, grab a bunch of beads along the way, following along with all of his motions. Getting over 3,000 beads in one run. The ranks on these runs, they are bonus stages after all. Comparing that to 1500 being a score that I only just barely made when I did almost everything there was to do, you can see how this would be far more lucrative than one would ever possibly need. Additionally, there's also alternate costumes for Poochie, exclusive to Poochie and Yoshi's Bully World. For clearing the first stage, Buzzing Poochie. His model doesn't really look so hot up close, I'm sorry. But he is cute when you're actually playing as him. Hiding deep in the Yoshi hut is another new feature. Why is it hiding there? Because it should have been in all versions. The ability to craft one's own Yoshi. I don't know why this was absent from the other one, but all right. You just kind of draw a little template for yourself and you can watch the Yoshi update in real time. I call it Yoshi Egg Yoshi. And it's just kind of a natural feature that you would expect for this kind of game. It has all sorts of things, there's some pre-made patterns that you can use as bases for what you want to make. Uh, this one looks kind of nice actually. Whoa, it's pretty nice. Better than what I came with. Fire Yoshi! That one's really pretty, actually. Yeah, this is a great feature that feels right at home with the whole, you know, crafting aesthetic and yet was never patched into the Wii U version. Let's you give it a name, lets you give, you know, kind of credit yourself with your own creations. Have a little comment that is given alongside this Yoshi. And as you would guess, based on the portable nature of the system, Street Pass Yoshi! You know me, I love me some Street Pass. It will never die because I won't let it. 
It's possible to share one's own creations and save them to your system if you really like it. Or if uh, some artists drop little naughty bits onto Yoshi that he does not canonically have, you can block those users for defying canon. I should mention that the patches for unlocking Miiverse stamps are absent from this version and have been replaced with templates for creating your own Yoshi. Far superior. But I'm still not going to get them all. Even if this rainbow-colored Yoshi is pretty styling. This next point is a very minor feature, and it's that Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World is enhanced for the new 3DS hardware. Game runs at 60 frames per second on the new hardware, 30 on the old. For those of you who wish to analyze, now you can break the immersion and know which version that I'm playing. Scrapbook Theater is up next. Inside of it is a portal to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Yoshi Theater is back at last. In here are little stop motion movies by Japanese animation studio Dwarf. There are a total of 31 of these. You may unlock one of them once per day, and they're pretty nice. Poochie is a cannibal, for he is also made of yarn. What did Poochie do with the yarn balls? He went to go get them. He didn't go get them. He threw them. <laughs> These trivia questions for answering correctly. Thank goodness I answered that correctly. Net 500 beads. That would have been embarrassing, and the pause always makes you doubt yourself. It's a very lucrative way, yet again, to get beads that you don't need. And in addition to coming back to the 3DS version to play each Poochie stage as it would be unlocked in the 3DS version, we will be ending every one of our days of travel together with Yarn Yoshi in the Yoshi Theater, enjoying one of these such movies. There should be enough to get us through the entire journey, as this is a much longer platformer than the usual fare is. I think we'll come pretty close to having equal number of remaining parts to these. At least I certainly hope so, and if not, we could just kind of have a watching party at the very end. Sound nice? I think so too. Did you feel torn about which version to get? Well, I'm about to make things a lot worse for some of you. I don't like doing this. I wish I could tell you which version to buy, but it really is different from person to person. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World lacks multiplayer. And it's awful because I couldn't blame any of you for not knowing that because the game looks like it has multiplayer. In the opening cutscene, they went to the trouble of reanimating it to match the new visual style and the general look of the overworld, and it shows Red Yoshi escaping from Kamek alongside Green Yoshi. To anybody who had knowledge of the Wii U version at all, it would look like, oh, there is multiplayer, I just don't know where to find it. And you just spend a while kind of fumbling around in the menus trying to find where to enable it while your friend is just kind of tapping their foot because they're like, come on, I thought you said we were going to do something fun. And before you know it, they're spreading rumors around school about the loser who thought the 3DS version of the game had multiplayer. And then before you know it, you have no friends left. It's all this game's fault. All of the other changes related to Poochie and Yoshi's World have to do with Amiibo, and I'd prefer to go over those features when we're going to go over the Amiibo functionality as a whole, because believe me, there's a lot of them. We could easily dedicate an entire video to Amiibo by itself, because I think this is the game that utilized it more than any other. And you know me, Mr. Collector, will be seeing all of it. Anyway, that is... An overview of Poochie's Woolly World slotted in right where I felt was most natural. Next time on Yoshi's Woolly World, we'll be pressing on through World 1. See you guys then.